it costs over a billion dollars and can take over a decade to develop a new drug. And that's irrespective of whether that drug is for some huge market or for an NTD. It, the amount of research, the amount of effort is the same. Clearly, to get the ball rolling, we need some combination of government subsidies, philanthropy, but we also need this idea of having some revenue stream. And to me, the revenue stream is best from a major market disease. So if you have a not-for-profit group and they have a diversified portfolio of major market diseases and neglected diseases, when they have a success with a major market disease, they can use revenues from that to plow it back to subsidize research on the diseases that are still too high risk for, for the for-profit entities to pursue. And in that way, we try and cover the entire spectrum. We've started an entity called DRIVE. It's a small nonprofit organization, and DRIVE is an acronym for Drug Innovation Ventures at Emory. What we did in DRIVE was we sold the rights to a major market antiviral and we use that, those revenues to subsidize research in dengue fever and chikungunya. And this is why pharmaceutical research is so expensive because most of the time we fail. Occasionally we succeed, thank goodness. And those times when we're successful, that gives us the opportunity now to go back and not just use the revenues that we've obtained, but the knowledge. The knowledge is really critical.